Hey everybody, Lone Wolf Rick here, and I'm with my Wolf Buddy AB. Hi everybody. And today it's like we're gonna do a little, um, a little home cooking here. It's like something a little bit different for the channel. It's like we're gonna make some homemade chicken strips uh, that we're gonna actually hand bratter and bread and everything, and it's like a deep fry or we're gonna fry them in a pan. I'm gonna make a Mornay sauce to go with it, and it's like I'll. And I haven't done this in a lot of years, it's like a thing, but I'll show you how to do that, it's like a thing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to strip up the chicken, because we've got some whole chicken breasts here. Okay. So it's like we actually had bought like uh, three breasts, and we're just going to make uh, strips out of them. As you can see, they're good sized breasts, nice thick, nice thick breasts. And yes, he already did wash his hands. I did. It's like in a thing, and it's like in the... Put and I just want to let everybody know, yes, it looks very limited, limited space here. And it is. We are in an RV. We took a little weekend trip, the three of us. And um, we're using uh, limited spices with what we have. And these are some of the ones that he's going to be using. Yeah, and I got the buttermilk. It's like for the... Real buttermilk. Uh, for the thing. Real flour I got some over there. We got some flour and the milk for the Mornay sauce. And uh, it's the same thing. So first thing we're going to do is all we're going to do is just... Uh, strip out. It's just uh, make those into strips. And we, we thought we'd show this with everybody since we are trying to start doing some travel vlogs and we thought hey we're taking a little weekend trip out in this RV here and having a good time and thought we'd share some of these recipes with you. They're very inexpensive recipes. You almost can use what you have uh, besides you know the flour and the buttermilk but I'm sure everybody has spices out there, all kinds in the kitchen, and we just grabbed what we had, so we're gonna see how it works. Are you telling me nobody carries like buttermilk with them at all times? <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, what I suggested, it was like a thing, I said it's like I will, uh, you know, it's like uh, do a mix, and it's like, you know, on a thing, and it's like a thing, she's like, what do you need? And I said, buttermilk, and she looked at me like, uh, like, what? <laughs> buttermilk, yes. Uh, I, I knew I had seen it uh, in the in the coolers every now and then, but when we actually had to go buy it, I thought, and she was like, I have she not goes, seen buttermilk. What section would that be? And I said, look for <laughs> milk and look for green. It's like, a thing. once you get the green, it's like a container. And we like were able thing. to it's find really that sad. on the way at an Albertsons. Now in another video, we went ahead and re reviewed the Shack Grill, and unfortunately, you know, it's our that was our first time reviewing an actual product. It was a brand new product that we uh, were able to find on sale, and we brought it and thought it'd be nice and quick and easy to bring that along and make some steaks. And what we didn't do in that video, if you were able to watch it, is we didn't come back and tell you how it all worked. So we showed you the steak. We didn't actually taste the steak, but honestly speaking, all the steaks were all different temperatures. One of us likes medium, one of us likes well done, and one of us likes very well done. They all came out perfect. They were fantastic. Juicy. Um, they took, uh, for the very well done, probably took about no more than 12 minutes. And uh, for Lone Wolf Rick, he likes his medium. It was about eight minutes. About eight minutes, yeah. Very easy to use, no assembly required, and very easy to clean. So we just want to let you know if you're ever in your RV and you're on the road, uh, or you want something quick to make, it's a definitely a product to think about. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the batter. It's like a thing to uh, uh, that we're going to end up breading. It's like everything is. So I have like two eggs here. Or, or I'm from Oklahoma, so I have two eggs. <laughs> so we're doing this thing, and if they, so we're doing the, uh, the eggs, and we're gonna take, uh, put the buttermilk in it, and then we'll just uh, whisk it to uh, get it to go. And it's like, and this is what makes the. I know most people cook. It's like, but this is what they can, the flour stick to the uh, to the chicken. And sadly, we do not have uh, a whisker. Okay. Okay. So what we got is the thing. It's like I just got a fork. 
It's like I've got the two eggs in there. It's like with the buttermilk. And we're just going to... Uh, And uh, like I said, it's like, you know, we're in an RV, so we're kind of, uh, you know, no whisks or anything. But it's like, but the buttermilk batter, it's like, it's like what makes the, uh, what's going to make the flour uh, stick to the, uh, to the chicken. Buttermilk will also give it a different flavor, is that correct? The buttermilk gives it a fantastic flavor. It's like, uh, if you ever go back south, I'm from Oklahoma, and it's like everybody, it's like, you know, a buttermilk batter, it's like a fried chicken. It's like is the uh, it's very good. So as you can see, it's like the thing. It's like you know we got the egg. It's like that is like thickened it up. I'm gonna add just a little bit more buttermilk here. How do you know when enough is enough? Because you basically, are used to doing this. Basically, and it's like in a thing. It's like you know, once you roll the chicken in it, and you'll see it. It's like it'll hold. It's like on the chicken. So, okay. uh, you know, a thing. It's like basically you probably like where the two eggs. It's like basically about a cup of a cup of the. Milk, okay. So. so we've got this. It's like we've got this done. Okay, you see, that's the uh, buttermilk batter. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make the uh, the flour the seasoned flour that we're actually going to roll it in and everything. So we're going to use this pan right here. And we have some spices here that we're going to use. Okay. It's like, um, I've never used this one before, but it's like, uh, <laughs> but we actually used it on the corn the other <laughs> yes, day. Yes, it like is with for the corn, as you can see. And it was, um, it was very good. But we thought, so. we'll try it. But we've got some garlic powder. We've just got some like uh, seasoning, uh, seasoning salt. It doesn't have salt in it, but it has like all the other seasonings in it. We're and trying to watch our salt. Black pepper. So we're going to uh, put the flour. And I would say for the three chicken breasts, the flour, a dozen eggs, and the milk, we're still under ten dollars for sure. I, yeah, it's like it wasn't all that bad. No, and so we're gonna have it. Uh, we bought a bag of salad to have that we'll show you in a bit, and yeah, just the black part lifts off. The no, not the red, oh. the black, just this. Oh, piece the top. Here. Yeah. I you know these newfangled like 69, there you go. 69 cent uh, <laughs> containers here. So, so we're gonna put some black pepper. Now I love pepper, so I do too. So you're fine with that. So we're gonna put the pepper in here. I might add a little bit more later on, but it's like uh, but we got some pepper. It's like we've got this uh, seasoning salt here. For season no salt. And basically, you know, realistically, you're kind of doing it to taste, your own taste. It's like there's no rule or rhyme or whatever. Some people will add like an actual salt. It's like a seasoning salt in it. Uh, some people might add, uh, you know, paprika for the color. It's just, um, you know, what your basic thing is. It's like, you know, we all love garlic. We so love it's garlic like, here. Uh, uh, so we have the garlic powder we're putting in. So going back to saying this was uh, all under $10, the, the chicken breasts, we were lucky to find them at under $2 for the for a pound. And then we have this seasoning blend here. A bag of salad and uh, a bag of frozen vegetables. It does have cheese sauce on it though, of course. We got that in and basically you just use your hands, it's like kind of mix it around a little bit. Because trust me, it's like, you know, once we start doing the chicken, it's like into here and the thing, my fingers are going to look like the thing from the Fantastic Four. It's like, you know, so. So as long as And then if you want, it's like the thing, it's like, uh, uh, I've worked in kitchens and restaurants before. It's like, you know, the thing, it's like basically once you get it on, you can actually, it's like, do the little taste. It's like, you know, the thing, it's like, because you're going to wash your hands of the thing. But the taste is just like, you just kind of taste the flour. And you'll taste it's you like taste. You know, 
the, what the uh, seasonings actually did are you taste in it I can taste it yeah. oh did you want one of those just in case yeah <laughs> I don't mind he's not sick but you know we're just gonna do that because he doesn't <laughs> Unfortunately, like we said, we're working with a very small, uh, limited space here. Our sink is actually right here. So we have the, uh, the steady <laughs> wipes here, so yeah. it's taking the So that's gonna that's gonna keep us in line here. And basically, what we're gonna do is it's like thing. I still have to start heating the oil. Okay. It's like in a thing. But what we're gonna do is the same thing. It's like. Uh, uh, I'm going to heat the oil, so we're going to get to go away for a minute. But basically, it's like what we're going to do is like we take the chicken breast, it's like you know we put it into the uh, the mix, and you can see it holds. It's like right on the chicken. It's like thing. You take it in the flour. It's like you know just about three or four times around, and that's it. And then we're going to deep fry. Okay, so it's like the thing. So we'll go ahead and heat up the oil, everybody, and we'll be right back. Absolutely. All right, everybody. So we're gonna start the uh, batter in the chicken here. It's like thing. So I'm gonna put a few strips into the uh, buttermilk batter. Same thing. And then it's like uh, what we're gonna do is just kind of roll it around. It's like you know, the thing. So it's like you know, the buttermilk and egg. It's, it sticks to the chicken strips. And this is a pretty simple, you know, realistically, it's a pretty simple recipe. It's like, you know, for people, it's something that's, I think everybody can do at home. And, uh, all right, so it's like we get some of the strips in here. It's like we're going to transfer it over. It's like to the flour. And that, I'm sorry, that sound you hear in the background, it's just, it's the fan for our, our RV stove there. That's the buzzing sound. So it's like uh, we've got some of this in here. And now what we're going to do is like a thing, it's like uh, we're going to make sure it's like in a thing that we get all of these, uh, you know, the flour mix, it's like that we did. It's like uh, all on the chicken strips. See, it looks good already, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to transfer it over here to the, uh, to the oil that we've already got started to heat up here. The oil is very hot. And we're just going to put those in there. Now we're using it's like a olive oil, an extra virgin olive oil. We know we're supposed to probably use some Cri other. Cris like lard. I know. Rick, <laughs> Lord knows Rick wanted to use uh, Crisco or something, but. Unfortunately, you know, we are traveling, so we only had olive oil as we were trying to be healthy, not knowing. Because I want to get everybody in my hand from Oklahoma, so we use lard. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's like a thing. That's, uh, that's all of the uh, the ones that we had breaded outside of here. Now, what we're going to do is like a thing. We're going to keep an eye on it. It's like as soon as it starts to brown a little bit, it's like a thing. It's like, you know, we'll, we'll flip the chicken around a little bit. But the one thing it's like I wanted people to know, because always people were asking, it's like, especially on kind of bitter pieces of chicken, like, how do you know it's done? Realistically, it's like the thing, it's like when this chicken, it's like, and you can see it's like, like cooking and everything, and it's like, and, it, and uh, once it gets turned, it's like the thing, it'll start to float to the top, it's like the chicken will. I asked that question, everybody. And it's like, in, <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. And then once it's like you get through this, it's like a thing before it's like a thing, it's like it kind of not bubbling as much, it's like a thing, it's done, it's ready to go, so. So it's like, well that's cooking, it's like we're gonna throw some more in here. And like I said everybody, it's like I haven't, I haven't cooked like this in years. Um, How many? Wow, 20 maybe. 20 like years. A, I'm, a, I'm a widower. So it's like, they, I used to do, it's like all the cooking at home. And it's like, and I'd make stuff like this. It's like, you know, and it basics, it's like, you know, and it's like, or a lot of sauces and stuff. It's like, you know, things. So uh, I did a lot of that stuff. Didn't you then, used to work at a restaurant? And I've worked in restaurants before. And uh, so this is kind of basic. Uh, I mean, Americana. Real. It's like, you know, just uh, real chicken, chicken strips. strips. 
Now you can uh, realistically change this. If you want to buy cube steak, it's like the thing, and take the cube steak and slice it. Ooh, it's like the good. same thing. And make cube steak fingers. Realistically, it's like when you go into a restaurant, it's like a truck stop or whatever, and, thing, and you see chicken or like a, like finger steaks. That's basically what it is. Oh, it's like a thing. It's either it's like a top sirloin, a restaurant I worked in. We actually use cube steak, mm -hmm. and it's like a thing. the same type of sauce. It's like the same buttermilk batter with the cube steak. It's like a thing. It is very good. And one tip, it's like a thing. If you're using the cube steak, it's like a thing to make it's like the uh, the actual uh, uh, chicken or like steak fingers. The same thing. Dip them in a cocktail sauce, a shrimp cocktail sauce. Mm. I'm telling you, it is it is unbelievable. So I'm gonna leave these here right now. It's the same thing. So we get this, and then second thing, and we'll cook this off because that's the only pan we got. Bring over here, and and it's like, and then what? As you can see, it's that's why I say I look like the thing from the Fantastic Four. It's like. You know, <laughs> But it's like the thing. It's like, and then once we get the chicken done, it's like I'm gonna do a Mornay sauce also. So it's like a thing. So everybody's gotta stay tuned. All right, everybody. So it's like this is what we're looking at. It's like as far as the uh, these chicken strips right here, and uh, these are just about done. They and, smell uh, really good. It's like we're using an olive oil, so it's like um, sorry. You know what they, so it comes <laughs> up a little bit uh, more of a lighter golden brown. It's like you know that. Maybe a lot of people are used to it. it's like if they you know where you get that actual you know uh, vegetable oil. It's like you know look on the thing, but you can see it's like a thing. It's like it's still bubbling around. So it's got a, probably about a couple more minutes like that, and then it's like you know, we'll take these out. It's like and we're going to uh, batter up some more, and uh, we'll cook those. And then after it's like the third batch. It's like the thing of the strips. It's like we got in the thing. I will uh, do a white sauce. It'll be a basic white sauce, it's like a thing, and you can use it for tons of things. And it's like, and once I show you how to make that white sauce, um, the same thing, they will talk about the uses for it and everything. So we'll come uh, back after the chicken's cooked. Yeah, we'll be back in All a right. couple of minutes. So. All right, everybody, it's like we've got the first batch out here. It's like the thing. Give you a little close up look. Don't they look good? Huh? It's like we've got the next batch, it's like the thing that would flour it up, and it's like we're going to put them in the oil here. That's a real chicken finger, that. Okay. Yeah, maybe in a future video, it's like we'll take a look, it's like the thing, and we'll actually buy the cube steak, and it's like, and then do actual uh, st uh, steak fingers. That sounds delicious. Just remember everybody, the cocktail sauce, that's the key. It's like if they use that, it's like for the dipping and... For the chicken or for the oh, beef? for the beef. I'm telling cocktail you. Cocktail sauce. I'm telling you, it's amazing. It's yeah. like if they, you know, once you get it like that, and you just dip it in like a shrimp cocktail sauce. Okay, shrimp I'm cocktail gonna... sauce for cute steak. So we've got the next batch going everybody. Okay. It's like we're gonna have one more batch to go. And once we get the third batch in, it's like the thing, it's like I'm going to make a roux and then make a white sauce, and it's like, and I'll show you how to do that. All right. And there's the first few, and we will be right back. All right, everybody, it's like we're back. It's like they, our chicken strips are done. This is what, how they turned down. And they did come out crispy. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it as right? he's grabbing it. It's like a thing. I mean, they uh -huh. and it's like we tasted them. Very, they taste very good. Great. So, they're very good. I can't remember the last time I had a homemade chicken strip. We always get them from Chicken Shack or somewhere. <laughs> they throw them in the quick deep fryer. They're frozen. Raisin canes. It's raisin canes. Some places, yeah, no. Thing. But these are old school buttermilk battered. It's like uh, roll it in the flour and throw it. It's like in the hot oil. So yeah. It's very cool. So now what we're going to do, everybody, we're actually going to make it the uh, uh, the roux. We're going to do a white sauce. I'm going to try to come Because I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a Mornay sauce. The same thing. So we're actually going. We're going to do a roux. I'll go I'll try to go above him here. And what the roux is, it's like the all the roux is, is butter and flour. And basically, it's the same thing. It's like the white sauce is just basically milk. 
so the butter and flour will actually it's like thicken the milk it's like to make the sauce so so, so we're melting okay it's like we've got to melt the butter and what is that parmesan cheese for over there all right so the parmesan is the same thing it's like once we make the white sauce we're actually going to make a Mornay sauce out of the white sauce. And it's like, and I'll talk a little bit about the white sauce. It's like, you know, once I'm thickening it, it's like that we're able to, um, out of the, the plain white sauce, which is just a, a thicker milk, you know, type thing, we can do a Mornay sauce. You can make country gravy. You can make SOS. It's like if, you know, if everybody knows what that is, uh, you could do like chip beef. It's like, get it? I mean, Whatever you want to make, it's like I'm just a basic white sauce. It's like is uh, is there, and it's like, and people tend to kind of forget about that stuff, you know. It's like, and, and uh, but it's such, it's such just a basic sauce, and it's like a thing. And we're gonna make this Mornay sauce. It's like a thing. So, so I've never seen this made before. So I know so. that at this time he warmed up the milk there. Uh, I did. I did kind of warm up the milk a little bit in a separate little pot there. And all the all the and uh, he melted just plain butter. Right. And okay. it's like in all the ruins, it's just butter and flour. Okay. So I'm gonna put in a little flour. Then basically, we're putting in some flour, and it's like, and then we just stir it until it becomes kind of a paste type like. Okay. And it's like you kind of want to get all the lumps out, you know, it's like as much as you can. It's like I'm using a fork, which is fine. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like if you had like a wire whisk, um, it'll work a little bit better. So we're going to add a little more flour. I have a, I think there's a wooden spoon in there. No, this, okay. this is fine. Okay. Okay, so we're going to add a little more, more a little flour. more flour to it. Like I said, it's like it'll come to. Um, you want it to be where it's like it's pretty thick. It's like thick, so it'll be more like a paste instead of runny. So we'll just keep adding flour until it's like we get to that point. Okay, you see it's sticking up. It almost looks like applesauce, basically. It's the same thing, but we're going to add more to it. It's the same thing to pour it's a, it kind of hardens a little bit, so. So, it's like, you can see it, it's like a thing where it's like it's hardened up to this paste type thing. So it's like I'm going to warm the milk up a little bit more. And it's like and once the milk gets warm, it's like we'll be back and put this in. So. Okay. All right, everybody. So it's like we're warming up the milk. As you see, the milk's warming. And he just used uh, vitamin D milk, regular it's milk. It's just regular milk. It's like once it starts to kind of boil along the edges here in a thing, it's like this is our roux. This is our finished roux. And you see it's like just kind of like a paste. Butter like and flour. And basically it's like a thing. It's like we just start putting it in. And it's like and we did end up finding a whisk. <laughs> now as you can see that actually goes to uh, an electric like little mixer beater. But we uh, were able to find the whisk for him. So it's like in a thing. So it's like basically you just start. start and then it'll, it's like it'll start thickening up on you. And it's like, and we'll keep adding, it's like, you know, more root to it. It's like, you know, however the thickness that you want. Now keep in mind, it's like we're making a Mornay sauce, so it's like it's going to have Parmesan cheese in it also, which is going to thicken it up a little bit itself, so. And everybody, we wanted to find something that uh, maybe you can even make for the kids. It's not just, uh, you know, some frozen chicken strips. It's actually coming straight from your refrigerator and your cupboards whatever you have at home especially with seasonings the 
do cheese and you know any kind of um, butter or like um, what is that that you can use instead of butter? You can use this. It's like you can make an Alfredo sauce. It's like out of a white sauce. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm talking like homemade stuff. It's like you know some mac and cheese. It's like you know the thing. It's like because you're gonna add cheese to this sauce. And it's like, and you'll just kind of make like a mac and cheese kind of thing if you want cheddar in it. It's like a thing. It's like we're using Parmesan. I actually like it's like this sauce. It's like basically with a uh, um, Swiss cheese. Oh, that's It's like, you good. know, the thing. And it's like, and you can just buy those slices of Swiss cheese, put it in. As long as you have a little cheese in there, if, if they can have oh. cheese. It's like I said, so you can make, it's like, see, and you can see it's starting to thicken up. It's the same thing, and you can make so many different things. Like this is just a plain white sauce, like I said, roux and milk. A plain white sauce. It's like if we're actually going to add, it's like a little white wine to it, you know, because it's like... Uh, um, bring out the flavor a little bit? We'll bring out the flavor a little bit. You can add mushrooms to it. You can add, it's like I say, we're just going to add the cheese and the wine, but you can see how it's like, it's like thickened mm -hmm. up. It's like a thing. It's like you look. You know, it's like you can add a little more root to it. It's like if you want it a little more thicker. It's like you know the thing. It's like we're actually. It's like going to use it. It's like just basically. It's like uh, over the chicken strips, more or less. It's like you know the thing. Now, if there's some left over, is this something you can keep for your pasta? Absolutely. Or absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So I was saying, if we're going to use like a little the for the chicken strip, yeah. Or the next day, if you want to make just a boiled chicken breast. It's like, you know, a thing, it's like you could make like a, um, maybe a little, uh, like a little spaghetti cord or? or cordon bleu. It's like a thing with a chicken breast with some ham. It's like, you know, the thing that's like, and use the Mornay sauce right. to pour over the top of it. Maybe it was for noodles or rice or whatever. And being it's here like, in an RV, uh, I know that a lot of people out there have Instapots or a Yeti, and that would be a great recipe you could make your chicken and your yeti if you wanted to like a chicken cordon bleu and then just use a simple sauce to go right over it absolutely it's like i remember one time in the mountains i saw the yeti so it's like we're going to add some pepper it's like to it it's like we're going to add a little bit of white wine to it well, yeah, everybody has a little wine at home I'm used to people whining around me, so. <laughs> but it's like, you know, the thing, it's like whatever flavor you want, it's like the thing. It's like this. So you got that. We're going to add, it's like the Parmesan cheese. And basically, you're just kind of going to do that to. Uh, to taste? To taste, however you want it to taste. It's like if you want it cheesy or less cheesy or, you know, kind of like this video, cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's like the thing, you see it thickening up here? It's like we get some cheese in there and we're going to melt the cheese down and it's like and we'll be back with the finished product here. Go. Hey everybody, it's like uh, we're back, Lone Wolf Rick, Wolf Buddy AB. This is the finished product. This is what we're having for uh, dinner tonight. We've got a little salad. It's so we like, told uh, you we're trying to watch the carbs a little bit. So those are those uh, Asiago Parmesan croutons. We have some pecans. We have three people here. Uh, Bad Wolf BH likes the ranch, so does Lomo Frick, and I like the raspberry, or there's blue cheese, there's our strips, we this had some, I'm sorry, some steamed vegetables there. That's how the Mornay sauce turned out, right there. It's like, they, like I said, it's like you can add uh, any kind of cheese you want, it's like we use Parmesan, but you could use whatever, however you want it. It's like, it's just a basic white sauce, once you get the white sauce excellent. done, it's like a thing, it's like I added a little more pepper to it. It's like we're going to do it over the chicken strips, it's like that. And if we have some left over, maybe we'll boil uh, some noodles and have a little bit of pasta with it tomorrow. That sounds like a plan, huh? So that's it, folks. We just wanted to share this with you, especially if you're out in an RV or something. These were the actual bags that go right in the microwave. So um, they have a little bit of cheese on them. So if you have some kids, they'd love those. Very simple, everybody. And there's Very our simple. homemade strips. Our homemade sauce. A little and southern cook in there. It took about a half hour is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you everybody for tuning in. Yeah, that's it everybody. Thank you very much. It's like Special uh, thank you to Lone Wolf Rick for cooking that for us. Thank you very much. And we're yeah. all gonna dig in.
Have a great day. If you're new to the uh, channel, please subscribe. And if not, we appreciate your views. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.